in nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. In tui bot altare Dei. Atem benedite pari ventotem. Iudica me Deus e discerne cosa meam de gente non sancta, pomini iniquo e doloso ero. Quieto es Deus forte do Domino, quale me ne poliste de quare teresis in cielo. Emite lucem tuam et veritatem tuam, ipsa me deduxerunt et aduxerunt in montem sanctum tuum et in tabernacula tua. Et in troi pat altare Dei, a Dei in quelle di peccati vinto temere. Confitebur di vincitera, Deus Deus meus, quale distis es anima mea, et quale conturbas me. Spera in Deo quam amato, confitebur in Dio. Salutare vultus me de Deus meus. Gloria Pati et Filio et Spiritu e Sancto. Si poterat in principio e non per sempre, et in secola e secola romani. In tui buat altare Dei. Ad Deum che le tipica diventò temere. Adiutorium nostum in nomine Domini. Qui fecci il cielo e il mare terra. Confite, Orde Omnipotenti, Beato Maria Sempre Vigili, Beato Michele Arcangelo, Beato Ioni Baptiste, Sancti Apostoli Speto et Paolo, Beato Pati Nostro Francisco, Omnibus Sancti Servobis Fratis, Quia Peccavi Nimis Coditazione, Verbo et Opere, Mea Culpa, Mea Culpa, Mea Maxima Culpa, Ideo Preco Beata Maria Sempre Vigili, Beato Michele Macangelo, Beato Ioni Baptista, Sanctus Apostolus Petrum et Paulum, Beatum Patrum Nostrum Franciscum, Omnes Sanctus et Vos Fratis, Orare Pro Mea, Dominum Deum Nostrum. Misereata de Tui Omnipotens Deo, sed dimissis peccatis Tuis, perdoca Te ad vitam eterna. Amen. Bon Fidio de Omnipotenti, Beati Maria Sempre Virgini, Beati Michele Arcangelo, Beati Imane Baptiste, Sancti Sofosteri Spettro e Paolo, Beato Padre Nostro Francesco, Omnibo Santi e Serti di Pater, Quia peccavi nemi scogitazione e verbo e opere, Mea colpa, mea colpa, mea massima colpa, Idio prego il Beato Maria in Santa Virgine, Beato Michele Marcangelo, Beato Mione in Battista, Sancti Sofosteri Spettro e Paolo, Beato Padre Nostro Francesco, Omne Santo, se te fate, orare pro me ed Domino Deo nostro. Misereato vesti, omnipotens Deus, et imitis peccatis vestis, perduca ad vos ad vitam eternum. Amen. Indulgenziam absoluzionem e premissionem peccatorum nostorum, privo ad nobis omnipotens et misericos Domino. Amen. Deus tu converso sui ficavis nos. Postende nobis Domine misericordiam Tuam, Domine ex audi rationem meam, Dominus Vobiscum, Oremus. Statui Tei Dominus Testamentum Pacis, et Principem Feci Deum, ut sit ili sacerdoci dignitas in eterno. Memento Domine David, et omnis mansuetudini seis, Gloria Pati et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicoderat in principio et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Statui Tei Dominus Testamentum Pacis, et principem feci Deum, ut sit ili sacerdoci dignitas in eternum. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deum, et in terra pax ominibus bone voluntatis, laudamus te, redicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi, propter magnam gloriam tuam, Domine Deus Rex Ciurestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Fidi Unigenite, Iesu Christi, Domine Deus Agnus Dei, Fidius Patris, 
qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccata mundi, suscipe deprecazionem nostam, qui sedes ad exteram patris, miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christi, cum sanctus spiritu, in gloria dei patris. Amen. Dominus Bobiscum. Oremus. Deus, qui beatum Ludovicum, confessorum tuum atque pontificem, celeste regnum terreno preponere docuisti, ac puritate libata ed eximia in paupere scaritate mirabilite decorasti, Concede, ut eius dem virtutis emulantes in terris, coronari com ipsio mereamur in celis. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tum, qui te cum vivit et regna, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus. Deus, qui beatum Ioannem, confessorem tuum, ad cultum sacrorum cordium, Iesu et Maria, rite promovendum, mirabilite inflamasti, et per eum novas in ecclesia tua familias congregare voluisti, presta quesumus, ut cuius pia merita veneramur, virtutum quoque instuamur exemplis. Per eundem Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tuum, Qui te cum vivit et regna, in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Lectio Libri Sapientia Justus si morte preoccupatus fuerit, in refrigerio erit, senectus enim venerabilis est, non diuturna, ne qua norum numero computata. Cania otem sunt sensus hominis, et eta senectutis vita immaculata. Placens Deo factus est electus, et vivens inter peccatores translatus est. Raptus est, ne malizia mutaret intellectum meus, aut ne fictio deciperet anima milius. Fascinatio enim nugacitatis obscura de bona, et in constantia concupiscentiae transvertit sensum stine malizia, consumatus in brevi explevit tempora multa. Placita enim erat Deo anima illius, propter hoc properavit educere illum de medio iniquitatum. Ecce sacerdos magnus, quindi ebus suis placuit Deo, non est inventus simili sili, qui conservaret legem excelsi. Alleluia, alleluia. Rosa vernans caritatis, lilium virginitatis, stella fulgens, ludovice, va sanctitatis, ora pro nobis dominum. Alleluia. Dominus Pobiscum, Sequencia Sancti Evangelii Secundum Luca. Gloria Tibi Domini. In illo tempore, dixit Dominus Petro, quis putas est fidelis dispensator et prudens, quem constituit Dominus supra familiam suam, ut det iris in tempore tritici mensuram. Beatus ille servus, quem cum venerit Dominus, in venerit vigila ita facientem. Vere dico vobis, quoniam supra omnia que possidet constituet illum. 
quod sid ixerit servus ille in corde suo, moram facit dominus meus venire, et ceperit percutere servus et ancillas, et edere et bibere et inebriari. Venit dominus servi ilius in die qua non se sperat, et ora qua nescit, et divit et eum, partemque eius cum infideli vos ponet. Ile autem servus, qui cognovit voluntatem domini sui, et non preparavit, et non fecit secundum voluntatem meus, vapulavit multis. Qui autem non cognovit, et fecit digna plagis, vapulavit paucis. Omni autem, cui multum datum est, multum queretur apeo, et cui comendaverunt multum, plus petent apeo. May the holy names of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph be blessed now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, after the feast of St. Beatrice da Silva, which we celebrated yesterday, today we celebrate the feast of another nobleman who sanctified himself within the Franciscan order. Saint Louis of Anjou. Our today's saint was son of Charles II, King of Naples, and Mary of Hungary, nephew of Saint Louis IX, King of France. Already early in his life, he did all he could to help the needy, restoring to all the experience, such as that of stealing food from the kitchen of the palace, for the hungry poor. According to the political custom of these times, together with some of his brothers, he was handed over to the Aragonese as a hostage in order to free his father, who had been made prisoner by the enemy. In this environment, his life was lived more intensely in prayer, with premonitory episodes such as a fight with a big cat, a demon, that had attacked him while he was in prayer, and that Louis put to fight, to flight, with the sign of a cross. At a certain point, he fell so seriously ill as to seem near to death. Cured by the two exiled brothers and by the dismayed gentlemen of the entourage, with the newest discoveries of doctors, he tried to overcome the terrible disease, pulmonary tuberculosis. Ludovico entrusted himself to the faith in God and his will, and miraculously was healed instantly, leaving the doctors themselves amazed. And he confided to the two Franciscans present the promise made on the verge of his end to wear the Franciscan habit after the death of his elder brother, he became the heir of the royal throne of Naples, but renounced to the throne in favor of his brother. With the permission of the Pope, he was secretly invested with the Franciscan habit, because they knew that his father wouldn't have accepted that his son would have been a member of an order of friars who went around begging alms what he deemed not fitting for a prince. Pope Boniface VIII desired to appoint him Bishop of Toulouse in France. He tried to refuse the charge, but after the Pope's insistence, he accepted it under the condition of being able to become a Franciscan first. And so, on the 24th of December, 1296, he pronounced his vows in the convent of Araceli in Rome, 
where he had spent already some period of preparation for the event, living in common with the friars, but wearing still the habit under the ecclesiastical garment on the advice of the Pope, so as not to disturb the susceptibility of the king, his father. On December the 30th, 1296, again in the Basilica of St. Peter, he was consecrated a bishop by the Pope. Always at Araceli, he solemnly put down his ecclesiastical clothes and wearing the Franciscan habit, arousing his father's discontent. He carried out his Episcopal ministry without sparing himself, always present where there was to help, without excluding those who were probably ill with obscure evil contagions. His heart was full of love for the fr Franciscan poverty, contempt for all worldly pomp and vanity, the refusal of all comforts, the desire to follow in the footsteps the poor Christ. After a while, Louis headed towards Rome with the intention to manifest to the Pope his intention to renounce to his episcopal office, which he considered to be in contrast with his religious vocation. On the journey he fell ill, and on August the 19th, 1297, he died peacefully at the age of 23 in his hometown amidst general consternation for his wish he was buried in the convent of the Friars Minor of Marseille, whose tomb immediately became a pilgrimage destination for many faithful. Today also we make the commemoration of another great saint, who is Saint John Eudt whose feast is very fittingly placed on this present day, on which we start our Triduum of Prayers in preparation of the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which we will be celebrating this Saturday. This saint, who lived in the 16th, 17th century, in fact, was a great promoter of the devotion and the cult of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the purest heart of his Most Holy Mother, and composed the first liturgical texts for the celebration of the feasts of these sacred hearts. He assisted the plague victims in the region where he lived. Later, he consecrated himself to parish missions because he realized that much more than just physically starving, the people were starving for God and the right Catholic doctrine. He proved to be a preacher of extraordinary qualities. Where he passed, he converted, someone said. Realizing, therefore, how important the figure of the priest is, who must conduct, instruct, and sanctify the people, he built a seminary, giving life to the congregation of Jesus and Mary, later on called the Eudists. He was aware that the worst, the worst thing harming the people did not come from outside the church. It was inside the church of France. It lied in its poor and apathetic clergy, in the ignorance of too many priests. John Hughes is convinced that the first and most urgent need is to remake the clergy. Thus, he founded two religious congregations, one for men and one for women, whose aim was to help former prostitutes to change their lives, both of them dedicated to the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary. He contemplated the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary as a unity, saying, you must never separate what God has so perfectly united. So closely are Jesus and Mary bound up with each other that whoever beholds Jesus sees Mary, whoever loves Jesus loves Mary, whoever has devotion to Jesus has devotion to Mary. He, together with, with the other Marian saints, 
whose feast we celebrate this week, is a good companion in our preparation for this great Marian feast day. Today also occurs to be the anniversary of the fourth apparition of Our Lady at Fatima. In August, unlike the other month, the apparition did not take place on the 13th of the month, but on the 19th, because the mayor of the place, who was a Freemason, had kidnapped the little shepherds, threatening to throw them into a pot with boiling oil if they would not have denied that Our Lady had appeared to them. During the apparition on this day, the Queen of the Rosary said, I want you to continue praying the Rosary every day. Pray, pray a great deal, and make sacrifices for sinners, for many souls go to hell because they have no one to pray and make sacrifices for them. We also want to, to make the proposal to be faithful to the daily recitation of the Holy Rosary and offering up all the sufferings which the Lord sends to us. And if we are able to do so, also to offer up some spontaneous sacrifices, saying the prayer which Our Lady herself told at Fatima, that is, O oh my Jesus, it is, it is for love of Thee, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer this sacrifice to Thee. May the holy names of Jesus, Mary and Joseph be blessed now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum. Oremus. In veni David servum meum, olio sanctum meum unxi eum, manus enim mea auxiliabit orei, et brachium meum confortabit eum.
Orate, fratis. Per omnia secula seculorum, Dominus fupiscum, Sursum corda, Gratia sagamus Domino Deo nostro, Vede digno et justum est, Ecum et salutare, Nos tibi sempre tubique, Gratia sagere, Domine, Sancte Pater, Omnipotens eterne Deus, Per Christum Dominum nostro, per quem maestatem tuam laudant angeli, adorant dominationes, tremont potestatis, celi celorumque virtutes, ac beata serafim, soci exultatione concelebrant, cum quibus et nostas voces, ut admiti iubeas de precamur, supplici confessione dicentis. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaud, Veni sunt ceri et terra, gloria tua, osana in excelsis. Vedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, osana in excelsis.
Pater Nostre, qui es in Cielis, sanctificetur nomen Tum, adveniat regnum Tum, fiat voluntas Tua, sicut in Cielo et in Terra. Panem Nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita Nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus Nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione. Per omnia secula seculorum, Pax Domini sit semper obiscum. Agnus Dei quitoris peccata mundi, miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, quitoris peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quitoris peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Domine, non sum dignus. Domine, non sum dignus. Domine, non sum dignus.
Misereato tui omnipesti omnipotens Deus, et imisis peccatis vestis, per lucar vos ad vitam eternam. Indulgentiam, absolutionem et remissionem peccatorum vestorum, tribu ad vobis omnipotens et misericus dominus. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce quitorit peccata mundi, Domine non sum dignus, rinta subtectum meum, se tantum di quervo et sanabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, rinta subtectum meum, se tantum di quervo et sanabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, rinta subtectum meum, se tantum di quervo et sanabitur anima mea.
venit in me, Spiritus sapientia, et proposui idem regni, set sedibus, et ivitias nihil es seduxi in comporazione illins. Dominus Fobiscum. Oremus. Immensam clemenciam tuam, omnipotens Deus, supplicite ex oramus, ut intercedente beato Ludovico, confessore tu, atco pontifice, per ex sancta questum simus, cuncta nobis adversantia, te adiuvante vincamus. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tum, qui te convivit et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus. Refecti cibo putuque celesti, Deus nostre. Te supplices ex oramus, ut in cuius hec commemoratione percepimus, Eus moniamur et precibus, per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tum, qui te convivit et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus Fobiscum, ite missa est. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus, Amen. Dominus Fobiscum, Initium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Ioannem. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apud Deum, et Deus erat verbum, hoc erat in principio apud Deum, omnia pe ipsum facta sunt, et sin ipso factum est nihil quod factum est, in ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux hominum, et lux in tenebris lucid, et tenebre eam non comprenderunt. Fuit homo misus a Deo, cui nomen erat Iohannes, hic venit in testimonium, o testimonium per ibere terumium, ut omnes crederent per ilum. Non erat ide lux, et ut testimonium per ibere terumium. Erat lux fera, quae luminat omnem hominem, venientem in uc mundum. In mundu erat, et mundus peipsum factus est, et mundus pei non cognovit. In quope avenit, et sui eum non receperunt, quod quod autem receperunt eum, deri deis potestatem, filius dei fieri, is qui credunt in nomine eius, qui non ex sanguinibus, nec ex voluntate carnis, nec ex voluntate viri, sed ex Deo nati sunt. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloria meius, gloriam quasi unigeniti a Patre, plenum gratia et veritatis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Sahel me holy queen, mother of mercy, hail our life for sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, and eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the providence of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon the people who cry to thee. And through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of her spouse, Blessed Joseph, of the holy apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, Mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth to thee for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of Holy Mother the Church, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May your God rebuke whom we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, Wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy. Most sacred heart of Jesus. O God, come to my assistance. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the Nativity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 